Tesla unveils Optimus robot. Can do anything you think of, claims Musk. At last night's Wii robot event, the much-awaited Tesla Cybercab took center stage. However, Elon Musk also used the occasion to showcase Tesla's humanoid robot, Optimus, which he boldly claims can now do anything. The Optimus will walk among you, Musk stated, adding, you'll be able to walk right up to them and they will serve drinks. According to Musk, the potential of Optimus robot is nearly limitless. He mentioned that the robot can perform tasks like walking your dog, babysitting, mowing the lawn, and even serving drinks. He predicted that the long-term cost would be between $20,000 and $30,000. Musk confidently asserted, I believe this will be the most significant product ever created. Well, not that significant. So the day I walked into a place and see one of these robots just casually sweeping up a lobby or serving drinks, that's when I will know that we are living in the future. This is it, like Star Wars, because once you start to see a few on the streets, you'll eventually start to see them everywhere. Different models, shapes and sizes, tiny robots, giant robots. And once they bring in this next generation of telecommunications, 6G, that's going to allow them to have these robots functioning at extraordinary speeds. It will allow the robots to be remotely controlled in better real time at long distances for things that have to be as precise as remote surgery. Anyway, what Elon is doing is not new. There's been other robots before. But this may be what popularizes someone spending money on one. Hey little Timmy, meet your new babysitter. In December 2023, Tesla introduced the latest version of the humanoid robot Optimus Gen 2. This iteration brings notable upgrades over its predecessor, which could mainly walk and talk. The Gen 2 version features faster walking speeds, improved hand mobility, tactile sensors on its fingers, and several other advancements. Let me play this video clip and you guys tell me what you think about this. Optimus. People here today. It's insane. It's even talking. Say hi to my friend John. John? Where's John? Right here. Oh, hello, John. How are you? How are you doing? That's crazy. Where I'm talking to a robot. Uh, from San Jose. Probably San from where you were from where you were born in uh, the that, Silicon that's Valley. Wonderful. Where do you live in San Jose? Do you live in Alameda Valley or do you live in yeah. Santa Teresa area? No, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos. Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. Where do you live? Beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah, yes. this is this is awesome. That's where they train us. That's where we get our builds, and that's where we work with a wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> And that's something I try harder to do every day, and I hope that you will help us become that. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. You as well. I mean, I thought that was a stereotype that robots talk with their arms bent like that. That's how C-3PO talks. You see, this particular model has no face, which gives more of an illusion that this is a human. Because it would be similar to talking to someone who was wearing a motorcycle helmet. If this robot had that fake plastic looking face, it would constantly remind you that you're talking to a robot. Can you imagine having one of these things and you come home one day and find it having a deep conversation with one of your kids? 
How long do you think it would take for you to develop feelings for one of these robots? Don't act like people don't get attached to things. So let me take a look at some of the specs on this Wii robot. Manufacturing industry, the Tesla Optimus excels in manufacturing environments, performing repetitive tasks such as assembly and product inspection. Its integration of Tesla's autonomous technology enables precise and consistent operation, contributing to increased efficiency and safety in production lines. Okay. Logistics and warehousing. Optimus is at depth at logistical operations, including sorting, packing, and materials handling. Its ability to navigate complex environments and manipulate objects helps streamline warehouse operations, reducing the need for human intervention in potentially hazardous conditions. Okay, looks like some people are going to be losing their jobs there. Home assistance in domestic settings. Tesla Optimus assists with daily chores such as cleaning, organizing, and basic maintenance. Its humanoid form and autonomous capabilities enable it to operate effectively in home environments, enhancing convenience and support for household tasks. Yeah, I am curious as to how this would affect families or relationships. Although we already have cell phones, cameras, and other portable devices that do that. Tesla Optimus, introduced by Tesla Incorporated, is a humanoid robot created to perform routine, repetitive, or hazardous tasks. It stands about 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs approximately 125 pounds. The robot is made from lightweight materials and is powered by the same batteries and actuators used in Tesla's electric vehicles. I mean, this isn't like a Chucky AI doll or... Or that Dow from the movie Megan. This thing has a little bit of weight. Deadlifting 150 pounds. Carrying around 44 pounds. 5'8". This robot is in pretty good shape. It's getting there. I don't know how strong, fast, and heavy they are going to make these things. But they could become physically unstoppable at some point. And here we have some robot alternatives to the Tesla model. The figure, figure one, payload, 20 kilograms. Okay, five hour battery time. 1.2 meters per second is its movement speed. Then there's the figure, figure two, same payload. Five hours, 1.2 meters per second. The Eptronic Apollo. Eptronics Apollo is a general purpose humanoid robot that stands about 1.73 meters, 5'8". It weighs about 72.6 kilograms, 160 pounds. This is a little bigger than the Tesla model. 25 kilograms, 55 pounds. It can carry a little bit more. But it seems to have a shorter battery life. You have the robot TLI bot. And we have the Unitree H1. No reviews yet. 3.3 meters per second. It seems like the fastest model. In terms of movement speed. And I'm telling you. The robot MMA fights are coming. What was that movie? Real Steel with Hugh Jackman. I mean, they have robot fights already, just with smaller robots. We could make it interesting and have a human fight one of these things. Most of these robotic systems, if not all of them, have VR teleoperation, which is a technology that allows a person to remotely control machines, robots, or other devices using a virtual reality interface. But all this, folks, is just what they want you to see. You can only imagine what they have now that they're not showing us. Look at China. Just last year, this article was published. Scientists at Chinese, Hong Kong, and American universities have created a metal microbot that can melt, slide through bars, and then turn back into a solid state and resume tasks. Yeah. The team of scientists used a composite of metals with a low melting point as part of a study into metal microparticles and 
presented their findings in the journal Matter. The inventors believe the robot, which has been likened to the cyber killer T-1000 in the Terminator movie franchise, can be of use in clinical and mechanical settings as it can get to hard to reach spaces. During the study, the microbot turned into liquid form one minute and 20 seconds after scientists shot it with magnetic fields at alternating currents, which increased its temperature to 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. Once liquid metal, the microbot maneuvered through the gaps in a cage using more magnets. As the Washington Post notes, the microbot was able to lengthen, divide, and merge in its liquid form. When solid, it was capable of being driven at more than 3 miles per hour and could carry objects up to 30 times its weight. The robot measures less than 0.4 inches in width when solid. Well, it looks like that at this point, these robots are going to be everything the movies told us they would be. There is no stopping this, but it will be interesting to see where this goes. You know, as we advance in the era of human robotics, there's going to be a lot of incredible potential and a lot of responsibility. These machines capable of mimicking human actions and even learning from their environments, they are going to reshape industries, assist in elder care, perform hazardous tasks, and revolutionize fields like education, entertainment, healthcare. The benefits seem not too bad. Greater efficiency, expanded human capabilities, solutions to labor shortages in certain areas, but, but doing this with humanoid robots, this must be met with consideration and caution. When you have robots with continuous updates and upgrades and growing autonomy, there are going to be increasing concerns about human-robot interaction ethics and how it's going to truly impact society. What happens when robots become indistinguishable from humans in certain tasks? How will they influence employment patterns? What is this going to do to privacy and even human relationships? The potential for misuse, their use for surveillance and the development of autonomous weapons shows how important it is to have regulation and foresight. Robots designed to interact closely with humans must prioritize safety. So far to my knowledge, no humanoid robot that I know of has ever killed a person, but people have died in factory robot accidents. And these Tesla robots, with their dexterity and speed at which it can move its hands and fingers, is pretty impressive. Humanoid robots should complement human efforts but not replace human presence or judgment. It's probably not a good idea to give too much control to machines and always place human dignity, human values, and autonomy up in front. If for some reason we had ethical frameworks, if we had good international guidelines and responsible AI governance, that would help in preventing unintended consequences, but we don't, so we won't. I dreamed that one day humans and robots could live together. The decisions we make with robots today will shape the world of tomorrow, where humans and robots can coexist in ways we have yet to fully imagine. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. It's just so funny because I remember when these robots were just spectacles of ambitious military projects and now seem to be readily available in a more home-friendly model. And I have to say, this is going to replace the cell phone. People are going to be walking around with this robot and this robot is going to be their portable device with a human body. Imagine the perfect online influencer cameraman with a camera built into its face so it just stares at you the whole time. I don't know. I will admit the technology is pretty cool to see in action. 
I think it would be important to start learning more about the technology some of these robots have so we don't get caught off guard or surprised at what they can do or cannot do. Just like we should learn the language of how AI operates as not to be fooled by it. But we've arrived. We've arrived at the beginning of a cyberpunk era. All the elements are there. They just have to spread out. But that won't be long. Anyway, that's going to be all for now, and there is more to come. I do have a recommended video for the day. Watch that video. It will be linked on screen at the top right corner of this video and in the description box and pinned comment below. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this presentation. Check out my other links in the description box below. You can also find me on Instagram at jwoodward if you're interested in sending me any clips, reels, or information. Everyone have a wonderful day, and as always, friends, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon. Every minute of every day, your body heals, repairs, and regenerates you from the inside out. Yet everyday exposure to heavy metals and toxins builds up and blocks your body's natural abilities. Natural zeolite is nature's answer to our toxic body burden. Breakthrough sound wave technology creates the world's first colloidal zeolite. Touch tone essentials, pure body extra colloidal zeolite helps clean out the chemicals from the body with an easy to use spray so you can make room for healthy in your life. Click the link in the description box below to order your supply of Zeolite today, because now is the time to live your best life.